Good day everyone, so Kirara has been an amazing addition to Nilo Bloom teams and we're gonna just quickly sort of get a feel for this and with the background footage. So I'm running the Nilo single target variation on the first halves and the AoE variation on the second halves. But there are a couple of things that I do want to point out that just makes Kirara such a comfy character to really use. So one of the first things is obviously that you get a shield but also increased mobility. So as you can see here, it is very easy for us to reposition to where we need to be. And then of course we can lay a trap for all these enemies, lots of little, as you can see, little cute little cats, um, whatever, jumping out. And then we just sort of take care of them. So this is what she's so, so good at. She provides a level of comfort that I think a lot of people will actually resonate with. So in contrast to someone like Yao Yao, which is supposed to be an on-field Dendro applicator and heals the team, Kirara basically says, well, who needs healing if you don't really take any damage? And what is so noticeable, especially in these single target environments, is that my Nehida, as you sort of saw there, didn't take any damage from the Dendro cause. And, and, and it also allowed her to be on field and to just maximize like Dendro application. And of course, with Yelon doing the Hydra application and well, boom, you've got a very, very strong single target focus. And that's what I really like about the character, it's just that flexibility is just so, so, so good. Oh yeah, by the way, on the second half floor, um, I didn't really get uh, lucky with the RNG, so I decided, well, instead of resetting, let's just play it as is. But in any case, so as you can see here with Girara, we set up and then we just run around, we tag enemies, and because we can crash into them and apply Dendro on them, she immediately synergizes with Nilo. So you get quite the benefit there from being able to apply the Dendro, obviously shielding the team and because Kirara herself has a massive HP pool she in conjunction with Kokomi and Nilo actually form a very strong bulky trio so the only real character that you need to worry out or watch out for is Nahida but in an AoE Nilo Bloom team you don't use Nahida on field ever really you prefer to much rather like cycle through your cooldown so that's not a problem but I think here is a good example so you can see I've got my shield I'm taking lots of Dendro core damage, but nothing's happening to Nahida. And look how comfy that was. No healer required. This is just what makes Girara such a cool character. So this shield and the ability for her to just, even if it's like broken, immediately regenerate a new one. It's just so, so cool. I think the shield stacking mechanic and the way in which she applies Dendro is obviously cool. I don't think it will replace Kole in the AoE Bloom teams, but um, certainly in the single target teams. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you've got Kirara. She's awesome.